What's happening, beautiful people? So, Sikal, Namaste, Islam. If you're watching this video for the very first time, welcome. My name is Aman. Today, I'm going to do a quick video on this whole Amazon UPC barcode situation. Now, I'm in a whole bunch of Facebook groups regarding Amazon businesses and stuff like that. And there's a lot of controversy that's flying around. So I'm hoping with today's video, it's going to clarify some of the questions that you may have. So what I'm going to talk about in today's video is GS1 barcodes, why they're important and why you need to seriously think about it. I'm not going to talk about any third party sellers or anything like that because I don't care. Amazon has certain requirements that you need to follow. And my recommendation is to follow them to the T. Otherwise, anything could happen. The last thing you want to do is get your listing suspended or your account suspended just because you didn't do something right that would have taken five minutes. So first, you need to understand what the change is. And I'm going to read this out to you. We verify the authenticity of product UPCs by checking the GS1 database. UPCs that do not match the information provided by GS1 will be considered invalid. We recommend obtaining your UPCs directly from GS1 and not from other third-party selling UPC licenses to ensure the appropriate information is reflected in the GS1 database. Now, what they're saying is, guys, is there is no requirement for you to only buy barcodes from GS1. You can continue to buy third-party cheap barcodes wherever you want on the internet but they're warning you that this could potentially lead to a problem. Problem is when you buy third party UPC codes, you don't know where they've come from. They could have been some used barcodes recycled. What could potentially happen is, is if Amazon runs some checks against the GS1 database and those barcodes come up invalid, it's because they're probably registering with another company or another product. Who knows what the reason could be. So guys, the point of this video is if you want to avoid any of those headaches, you need to go to the right source, which is gs1.org and get the right barcodes for what you need to do. Yes, I agree. They're more expensive, but what these barcodes give you is authenticity. Your company prefix is yours. It's nobody else's. When anyone runs any checks against the GS1 databases, your company information is going to come up on that particular UPC code. Now, guys, if you want to learn all about the GS1 barcodes and how they work, I can leave a couple of links in the description. I'm not here to talk about that. My whole point of this video is this. If you are here on Amazon and you want to build a brand and you want to do six, seven figures a year, whatever it is your goals are, you can't be crying about a $60, $70, $200, $300 barcode. If Amazon is telling you that this is what they recommend, you should probably listen to them. I'm in all these Facebook groups and right now there's so much confusion going on. But the part that really bothers me is this. If you're out there trying to build a six to seven figure, you know, business on Amazon, why are you crying about a 60, 70, 80, even a hundred, say $250 barcode? It makes no sense to me. This one item, which is critical to your operation, do it right the first time. It doesn't matter how much it costs. You're trying to establish a business. You're trying to run a real legitimate business. It's just the cost of doing business. But if you are a brand new seller or an existing seller that's about to launch new products, you need to get on this and you need to sign up with gs1.org and get the right barcodes. Like honestly, this should be a non-issue. I can't stress this enough. If you're actually contemplating whether or not to get the right barcodes, even though that's what Amazon is recommending, why are you even doing this business? So guys, I just want to reiterate Amazon's stance on this. All invalid product UPC listings will be removed and may result in your ASIN creation or selling privileges being temporarily or permanently removed. So again, I ask you, is it worth the 60, 70, 80, $250, whatever it is these GS1 barcodes cost you to lose your business? It's not. So guys, I want to be real clear here. Amazon is not requiring you or mandating that you go to GS1 and buy their barcodes. They're only recommending it. But even saying that, if they're recommending it, that's something that I would take seriously. Again, I repeat, you can go out to any third-party barcode place eBay, wherever, cheap barcodes, wherever it is, you can buy them. Yes, you can. They will probably work. But what happens down the line if they decide to do a search in the back end on that GS1 database, who knows what's going to happen? So you got to decide if the risk is worth the reward. My recommendation to you guys is just stop whining and complaining, spend the money, go to gs1.org and get their barcodes. Please guys, don't make this mistake. Go out there to gs1.org, sign up, Get the real barcodes that you need and you'll never have to worry about this issue again. I want to say if you're watching this video for the very first time, you know what? Thank you very much. Clearly appreciate it. Please subscribe. Part of the family. If you want to see more videos just like this, please click on the on the sky. Of course, to my peeps, be you. Stay optimistic. 
Enjoy the rest of your night. Here's a big high five for me to all of you.